Hello friends, welcome to the world of psychology, growth development. Myself Mukul Choudhury, working as an assistant professor in Department of Psychology, Kitation College, Nasik. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the syllabus details regarding developmental psychology and how to go about it. We all aware about the corona pandemic going on and since most of you won't be attending the regular college and therefore this lecture series we have started. So make sure you try to use these lectures for your maximum benefits. So before starting this lecture, I wanted to tell you some, I want to suggest you what, how you should go with these lectures. I mean, don't listen these lectures just for an entertainment purpose. Make sure you listen these lectures very attentively and decide a fixed time in a day that you're going to allot for these lectures. Make sure you sit with proper pen, paper and other reading material so that whenever you come across any new word, any new concept, you will at least note it down and you can ask that concept that specific new word you can either google it or you can find it or even you can ask us all our details are there on the website of KTHM college so I'll start with my next slide so this is the syllabus right we can see the syllabus prescribed by SPPU and in the syllabus for semester third, I'll be teaching you DSE 2A, that is developmental psychology. In Marathi, we call it as a Vaikasik Manishastra. Since I presume that you have studied psychology in your first year, so you must have got some fair idea regarding the subject matter of psychology and when I say developmental psychology developmental psychology is the specialized branch of psychology which studies the change development and it focuses on human growth and changes across the lifespan. Basically, it is a scientific study of human development. It is the branch of psychology that focuses on the many ways we change throughout our life. Now the learning outcomes, I mean why you should study developmental psychology or what are the objectives. So first important objective that after completion of this course, students will be able to first, I mean you all, you will be under able to understand the importance, characteristics and concern in lifespan development. So this lifespan development, you will understand the first thing. Second thing is you will understand biological, cognitive and socio-emotional processes. Third thing is that you will understand the periods of development, the significance of age and discuss developmental issues. And the most important point 
the outcome that is you will understand the psychoanalytic cognitive behavioral and social cognitive ethological ecological and eclectic theory eclectic theories of human development so all different theories of human development you are going to study in this subject and last is you will understand how the developmental psychology go with the subject how to study so you will understand the methods of data collection and research design used in lifespan developmental research now the first topic is introduction to lifespan development see the first important word here is lifespan development right so this word is a new for you right in marathi we call it as a jeevan kaksha drushtikon that is lifespan perspective so in this what you are going to study you will study the importance i mean why you are studying the lifespan development the different characteristics of lifespan perspectives and the contemporary concern contemporary concerns i mean where this concepts is used in day to day life second topic is the nature of development that is biological cognitive and socio emotional processes periods of development the significance of age i mean what is the impact of age on different periods of development and the developmental issues third is different theories of development that is psychoanalytic theories cognitive theories behavioral and social cognitive theories ethological theory ecological theory eclectic theoretical orientation and last topic is research in lifespan development methods for collecting data research designs time span of research so this is this is this is, this is just introduction into syllabus right now we move on to the next topic that is biological beginnings and prenatal development this topic contains for following things first is genetic foundations of development in that the collaborative genes genes and chromosomes genetic principles chromosomal and gene linked abnormalities next topic and very important topic in this is heredity and environmental interaction the nature nurture debate then the third topic is the teratology and hazards to prenatal development and next one is reproductive challenges and choices the last two topics is the course of prenatal development and birth processes and last is assessing the newborn right so this topic is contains lot of new concepts and lot of scientific concepts right the genes collaborative genes the hereditary part of it what is the most important environment heredity then the teratology might be the new word for you but don't worry we are going to study all things in very much detail next topic is infancy right in infancy you will have four sub topics that is physical first is physical growth and development in infancy next is motor sensory and perceptual development cognitive development third is piaget's theory of infant development learning remembering and conceptualizing fourth one is important thing is language development early childhood physical changes and cognitive changes so this fourth unit is early childhood and this is the last topic of your syllabus so you all must be happy that 
view syllabus contains only four topics right only four topics and in this four topics the first topic is physical changes cognitive changes what changes happen in the early childhood phase next is the piaget's pre operational stages piaget is the most important psychologist then the vygotsky theory Lev Vygotsky and Piaget's theory are the backbone of developmental psychology right third is the self emotional and moral development and last is families peer relations and play so this is the syllabus now we come to the references how you should study so this is the list given by the university it contains lot of books right it contains books by bark cook burke desi fieldman kali macdowit santrock and shepard but for your uh, simplicity i have made it into something like this these are the two easiest book i found out like uh, first is developmental psychology this is the classic book okay life span approach written by elizabeth hadlock so this book is available with us in our department in our library this is quite classic books though the edition is old but you can use this book second is child development laura park this book is very good and it has got lot of interesting concepts lot of new researches this is quite updated book on child development next books are two important books in this discovering the life span written by robert fieldman and the indian edition of this is written by robert fieldman with s babu that is mentioned in your syllabus so even this book is good the indian edition is available on amazon right you can check it out there fourth important and is this is this is also the classic book in your and you will find most of the topic in your syllabus right that is the life span development by john santrock now you must be wondering this is all in english what about marathi medium right so for marathi medium people and students these are these are two books that are available and widely read by people first is vaikasik manas shastra authored by dr borude sir maida kumtekar ma'am and sheila govilkar ma'am this book is very good a uh, little bit bulky book since uh, it is quite inspired by the book of laura burke so you will find lot of similarities between laura burke book and this book right it's very useful book those who want to study very deeply this book is for them next is vaikasik manashastra manavi vikasasa manashastra by dr k m jado this book is very interesting uh, it covers uh, quite a uh, decent part of the syllabus this is the shortest book uh, you will find on the syllabus and you must be wondering that why i am mentioning all these books right see now you are come to the second year of your ba till 12th standard there is a concept of textbook but since you move to the first year second year third year or even for pg level there won't be any textbook you will find only reference books so what you should do whatever the book you can find and just go through the book go through the syllabus right and it depends on you which book you like and go with that book because i am not going to suggest you read this book and don't read that book i am just suggesting that these are the different books that ideally you should go with the books or you should go for your study but what i feel you choose one book from english medium and if you are from students from marathi even then i'll suggest you that you at least you choose one book from english medium and one book from marathi medium and 
then you combine these two books and start your preparation and those uh, who are as it is they are having in the book, uh, english medium so they don't need this books uh, santrock piltman or herlock and this laura book books they are quite interesting and you can choose any one of this this is laura book book and santrock book they are recently books so it depends on you i am not suggesting at all which book you should read now about the online resources if you are still interested to spend more time with the development psychology then there is a very interesting documentaries if you can access netflix then babies uh, is very interesting documentary on netflix about child development about nature nurture how environment how the heritage shapes the baby's behavior and it it is very decently made so if you can access it please go through it then there are two three i mean there are a lot of tedx talks but these two talks uh, i find quite interesting and they might helpful with your subject that is first is child development in the digital age by dr sara domov you will find this talks on youtube right second is what is the most important influence on child development by tom wisner even this talk is very good so you should use online resources wisely there are n number of videos educational videos or documentaries but what i feel you should go what i'm suggesting you if you can go like this it might benefit you a lot now thank you very much